Hi everyone, welcome back to NGN. I'm Julian. I'm here in the GeForce Esports Studio with Clay, the Esports Studio and Events Manager. I have to make sure I get the full title right. So we're in here, it's kind of like a little bunker within the NVIDIA campus, right? And yeah. there's some, some stuff around here. I'm not even allowed to talk about it. There's some top secret stuff revolving around this studio. So tell me a little bit about what happens here. Uh, in our studio here, I have a 5v5 setup so that we can emulate tournaments for professional players. High priority I have this studio is boot camping the professional team. So we'll bring in a team um, like we had Cloud9's Overwatch team right before their tournaments. We'll be bringing in Team Secret again before the International. And we'll do 12, 14 hours a day of practice, as well as I'll work with them on other things such as team communication, ergonomics, and you know, keeping themselves able to play. So this is where the best come to train. Correct. For eSports. It's in this very room, right? And right. I understand you have a lot of things set up here specifically tailored toward making them game ready, to use a buzzword. Right. Right? What other things do we have set up in here that you can tell us about to keep them uh, sharp? To, we wanted to bring the tournament uh, feel, look and feel to the players so it's something they're familiar with and they can practice in that environment. So we have custom made desks that fit the space of what they would have on stage. Um, as well as our systems, our peripherals, are all what we're, we're considering the standard for esports and what a professional player should expect when they get on stage for a tournament. So right down to the size of the desk, you guys are making it that similar to a tournament. You're getting yes. ready to simulate even that. How is desk space like that influential in a tournament? A lot of things, if they were to come here and let's say it's a big first person shooter and you get a guy that just really swings mm -hmm. with his mouse, you know, if he gets used to having to more room than when he would at a tournament, he's gonna end up flying into the keyboard of the guy next to him. Could result that's in a not, loss. That's, that's bad for both of those guys. Right. Yeah, you so don't want that guy. So now two players go down, bad news. Yeah, so you've got <laughs> them trained here to be confined to what they would expect in a tournament. You're getting these players ready for worldwide play, right? Like you just literally right. traveled around the world. Correct, yeah, I just came back. I actually did a complete loop around the world. Uh, two stadium events and a boot camp at a team house. Um, it, it's, it's amazing and, and taxing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, so pro gaming, you can actually travel around the world doing it. If you guys want to get better, Clay's right here. He's the eSports studio and event manager. You have any questions, this is the guy to ask, and you can leave those questions down in the comments. Clay, you've also got your own content you can check out, right? Where can they find that? Uh, on this site right here for NGN, you'll be able to check out videos of tournaments we've been to, uh, as well as other content we create with the pro teams. So if you guys are into eSports, Clay's your man. Keep watching NGN. We got lots more coming.